Hello guys and dolls. Today I'm doing a peacock themed mask for you for Halloween. I originally did this look about a year ago for a theme day at work and I really really love it. I love that it's a disconnected mask. It's a little bit intriguing and a little different from a traditional mask. Uh, perfect for a masquerade party or any kind of Halloween party. You can kind of be like the belle of the ball with this. Uh, and then I paired it with these amazing eyelash jewelry um, things. I don't really know what to call them but they're awesome. This is my first time actually wearing them and I keep staring at them because they're so freaking cool. Anyway, they're from a company called um, Spires, I think is the name of it. Um, I know they're on Etsy. I'll have a link to all of that good information in the down bar as well as a link to my blog if you want to see a full list of products because this does take a lot of things. It's not a terribly complicated look, but it's time consuming and it's layered. It's something I actually think that most people can pull off. In fact, this is one that I would love, love, love if all of you would try to recreate and do a video response or something. Call it like vintage or tacky peacock mask, you know, whatever. I'll find it. Definitely try this out because it looks so fantastic and you can definitely do it with less expensive products. So all the list of products and everything will be on my blog as well as, um, high definition pictures if you'd like to see what it actually looks like in photographs and things like that. So yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you'd like to learn how to create this amazing peacock mask, then let's get started. Ooh, I still have the swatches on my hand. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is apply the white eyeshadow base. It's going to help us map out where we're going to apply everything else. So I'm taking a Sonia Kashuk concentrated crease brush or something. I don't remember the exact name of this. It's a synthetic brush, so I actually really like it for applying bases. So, you know, if you want to use your finger, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. So I'm taking it right here on this inner corner. Dragging it down through the eye blending it across. I'm sorry guys, the product that I'm applying is NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Uh, it's just going to make everything really intense on top of it. Sorry, kind of forgot that. I'm going to draw a line up from there, from like the inner corner, as though it's meeting uh, the arch of my brow. And then back again. And then just blend it out from there, sort of fade out the intensity. Now we're going to start lining the basic shape out so that we'll know where to apply the color portion of the mask. So to line it out, I'm going to use Ben Nye's Cake Liner, which is like a really hard cake, if you will. And it is water activated, so I'm adding Max Mixing Medium to activate it. And I'm applying it with a 2-1-1 brush from MAC. One thing you could get at the drugstore that would be great for this, and I might go back with this for detail work later, is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. It's like a, a liquid liner pen, but it has a brush tip, so you can get a nice, clean, crisp angle with it. The thing I like about the cake liner over the other is that this is very wa water-soluble, so if I make a mistake, it's really easy to take off. I anchored myself by resting my elbow on a table, and then would rest my fingers on my face. I'm just going to do a little outline of what I've done. You just want a basic guideline and to know that I'm creating the same basic shape on both sides. Alright, so now for some fun stuff. I'm going to take Sugar Pills Absinthe, which is a really beautiful chartreuse with a nice golden shimmer. And I'm using an E55 brush from Sigma. to start packing that right on the inner corner. So just apply that to both sides, top and bottom. Make sure you get it nice and close to that lash line. And the color I'm going to use for the green is called Jade from Ben Nye. have that on another shader brush. I do want to blend them together uh, momentarily, but for now I just want to pack each color on. So again, we're going to do that on the top lid. And I'm butting it right up against where I have Absinthe. Just lightly flicking over the line to make it a little diffused. Right now I just want to make sure I have enough space for all the colors. So I'm just really packing them on. I'm going to use Blue My Mind from uh, Milani, and again another shader brush. I'm 
You might notice that all these colors are shimmery. I'm trying to give it this really great uh, shine, which I think is perfect for a sort of masquerade mask. And then for the purple, I'm just going to flip over this same shader brush, and I'm going to use Amethyst from the Ben Nye Ground Lumiere palette. Kind of a bluish violet thing. Okay, so the transition between the blue and the teal isn't going as smoothly, smoothly as I would like, so I'm going to pick up the Blue Had Me at Hello palette from Wet n Wild, and I'm going to use this really, really pretty uh, golden teal in between the two. It's sort of, uh, you know, it's less green than jade, but it's not as blue as the blue shade that we used. Alright, then I'm going to pick up a big fluffy round brush like this, and I'm just going to do little swirly motions to make everything look nice and seamless. I don't want there to be an obvious transition between the colors. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep blending and keep adding to the color and build it up and add a few other colors to get it nice and blended like this side. So I went in first with Max Bitter Eyeshadow, which is a very matte chartreuse. Honestly, the chartreuse really didn't need a whole lot of help because Absinthe is such a, a richly pigmented color. But since I was enhancing everything, I figured I'd go in with a little something extra. In addition to this, unfortunately not filmed, I also used the Sebastian Choco palette. I used the one that's like a gold green shimmer. Then I went in with uh, Ben Nye's Jade, and again, we're just adding to the color and making them all more pigmented and more intense. Then I went over with the Blue Had Me at Hello palette, the Robin's Egg Blue from that. It's such a fantastic color. I'm just ripping through that color in that palette because it's so beautiful and I have nothing quite like it. Then I went in with Max Atlantic Blue Eyeshadow, which is a pure, true blue. I packed that over where I had the Blue My Mind. That color really didn't work very well, so it really needed a lot of help. So I also went over that with Ben Nye's Cosmic Violet, which is another true blue, but this one has sort of like a violet shimmer in it, and it helps to enhance the purple that's next to it, which I enhanced by taking a fluffy brush and Makeup Forever number 92. Now, I have to say that I actually don't recommend the Makeup Forever number 92. I have issues with it staining my skin, something fierce. If you don't have that issue, you know, whatever works for you. But a less expensive option that actually works for me better would be Sugar Pills Poison Plum. For whatever reason, I thought this would blend better with a blue, but honestly, the color difference is negligible, and I would have much preferred if I'd used Poison Plum. So I'm going to try to reshape the outline just to see what I've got going on because it definitely looks different when the, the, the outline is on. So I'm taking the uh, Physician's Formula Eye Booster and just running it along the outline that we already have, making it a little bit bolder and then taking it up a little bit higher this time. I'm going to curve it around the bottom. I'm actually moving my face, not so much actually my hand. And you can start adding in some flicks if you want, just to see if you have the, the shape even on both sides. I feel like this side comes down a little bit deeper, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the black. A little lower down. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and start drawing the little fringy thingies. And for that I'm going to use, again, the, uh, the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. You don't have to be, like, super scientific about it. The, ba the basic idea is that the ones at the top you want to start to flip them up, the ones at the bottom you want to turn down, and the ones in the middle you want to do a little bit of both, just so that it has a nice, even look overall. So I'm going to start by doing a few throughout. Then go in between the ones that I did. Always try to reference the other side. You might need to periodically stop and shake it up. Shake it up. 
I do want to mention that one of the reasons why I'm choosing to use this specific product is that the liner has a slightly shiny finish and so it fits in with the um, the texture of the mask so it's going to look as one. If you were to use like the Ben Night Cake liner or some other type of matte eyeliner it's going to have a different effect so it's just really about what you prefer. Alright guys so because I was trying to go around the mask applying my foundation took much longer than I had I had anticipated so I'm not gonna be able to show you guys in the video so now I'm gonna go in and do a tight line of my eye this is the Urban Decay 24 7 pencil in zero and I'm just applying the inner rim to the top and bottom alright so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do some more detailed fringe I'm gonna bring it down onto the cheek a little bit So I'm taking longer, more purposeful strokes. Alright, so now we're going to do a little inner corner beak type things. And I'm going to use the, um, the eye booster pen. And I'm going to drag the line that I already have existing down. and then take it over make sure it's nice and straight and smooth and then fill it in I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara, nothing special, um, just a nice defining one. Uh, you could do false lashes with this, but I'm going to add something even better in just a second. So I just want my lashes to look like they actually exist. Alright guys, so now it's time to add these beautiful embellishments. These are called eyelash jewelry, uh, so they're a little different than false lashes. It's a like wire and bead uh, base with like feathers or all kinds of different things coming out but they're kind of amazing so what I'm going to do is I have a little craft store brush that I use for applying glue to things and I'm getting some duo glue so get a layer of glue on those and then wait a little bit for the glue to get tacky and you're actually going to hold the feathers themselves and you're going to place them on and it takes a bit of maneuvering you're going to have to like do a lot of this so um Pardon if this doesn't look amazing. I'm going to take that from the outer corner and just press it down along the lash line and try to not move your eye around too much just so it can set and if you feel really awkward then you're probably doing it right. And the great thing is that these are actually on a wire so you can pose them however you'd like them to be. Alright, now I'm going to add some rhinestones to the little triangle thing here, so three little dots of glue. Then I'm going to take some tweezers and pick up my crystals. Sorry guys, I've just filled in my whole lip and you couldn't see the whole entire thing, so my bad. Filling my lips in with magenta lip liner from MAC. And then over the top I'm going to use the Milani Lip Flash Pencils. I'm going to use Flashy to start. And then just a little bit of the purpley one and just kind of smush it all together. that's the completed mask. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely enjoyed creating it for you. Really quick before I let you go, I want to give you some pointers on a few other ways to zhuzh up an outfit, um, a costume like this. For something like this, if I was going to wear this to like, um, you know, a party or something, I would pair it with either a black cocktail dress or a like teal or a blue, like something that's a solid color just because this is so crazy. You don't want to look like loud Mimi or something, I don't know. Um, and then if you want to uh, add some, 
you know, peacock embellishments, feathers, things like that. I recommend sticking to like one, maybe two signature pieces, really, really keeping it uh, simplified. That way the makeup can really stand out and then also, you again, you don't want to look like you did too much. So I'm wearing the eyelash jewelry. Um, which is part of my mask and I think really enhances the mask. You could also do um, like peacock earrings, you know, like pretty much every store is selling those now. They're really popular. Something else I think would be really great as a costume would be a peacock headband like this. I got this from sprueshop.com. It doesn't really go with my hair right now. I have to like restyle it in order to wear it because it tends to flatten out one side. And then again, do you see how it's like a bit much with like the peacock and then this um, but this oh this is so pretty I can't even hardly stand it anyway I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in my next video remember to be vintage or tacky or a peacock just be yourself bye alright the transition between the teal and the blue isn't going as smooth as I'd like so I'm gonna pick up um, the blue had me at the these crystals are really awesome they're um Prone to falling is what they are. I love this type of disconnect. Oh, it's cool. Let's just film the intro with lipstick on my teeth. Why not?